Sagittarius. What's up, gangsters? All right, let's find out. Let's see what's going on with your bad selves. <laughs> All right. Um, my little fiery guys and gals. <laughs> Energy for Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to show you like I see this. We have the Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in with a love offer, right? But you're Sagittarius. <laughs> and you're like, nah, right? I just get this energy of like shutting down all like connection there. Just kind of being like, no. Um, I feel like your gut kind of pulls you away from it. Because with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it tells me that like you reject an offer here. Um, the strength card in reverse, um, maybe you feel like you're in a vulnerable spot right now, or it could be a Leo, four pentacles in reverse tells me I see you, um, like letting go of something here. So let's talk about this. Um, because I feel like this could be the past trying to come up, trying to be like, what up though and you're just like no fuck you um let's see so who's this knight of cups and what do they fucking want <laughs> right? what do they want seven of cups it's like they're looking at you as like a love option right they're like pinpointing a direction they want to go and they're kind of looking to you for that um all right, the high priestess in reverse. Why are you like, no, <laughs> right? Because they're seeing you as an option. They're seeing you as something that is an option for them. Like, nine of wands, you're like, fuck no. <laughs> you're hella guarded. You're like, hell no. We are not starting a love cycle, actually. The ace of cups in reverse, right? It's like ace of pentacles and the ace of cups in reverse tells me you don't want a new beginning with this person. You're putting up your fucking walls. You're like, ah, don't cross that line, motherfucker. <laughs> That's, oh, dude. Um, strength in reverse. I feel like this is them feeling, feeling vulnerable, feeling like fuck. <laughs> um, treating you like you're a fucking option. I feel like this was a very fair, a, a very fair outcome here. You know, because you're kind of showing up like, no, I'm not actually not just an option for you. Um, I like that. <laughs> you're just like, this is fair. This is justice. This is like the balance being restored. See you letting go of that. It could be like an ex trying to get you back. And you're just like, fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Um, I feel you. So, four of pentacles in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse. So that's kind of opposite energy. It's like letting go but not walking away. I feel like somewhere deep down you're keeping this connection open and that's why they're seeing it as an option. Maybe you haven't moved away yet. With the Ten of Wands in reverse, maybe you're still, like, kind of out the door. Like, you've emotionally let go, but I don't know if you're, like, gone, gone. King of Swords in reverse tells me that you struggle to cut them off. You still talk to them. Three of Cups, you're like, we could be friends, probably, <laughs> you know. Um, or they struggled to cut you off. Because you're showing up as the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? You're showing up as somebody who is kind of like not like very guarded against these feelings with this individual here. Um, just not having it. 
So what is your future energy then? Let's talk about that. here the ten of swords in reverse it's like the longer you prolong this the more conflict is gonna come in right the more you're gonna just argue if I with this person um there's no resolving it you know with the knight of wands I feel like some good news is coming in or you're gonna be motivated to just kind of get up and go you know I feel like you're gonna just do that page of swords in reverse tells me that you're just kind of done with their bullshit you, you know like you just want to cut that shit off um it's such a back and forth thing with this person. Um, Swords in reverse tells me you're not even going to be heartbroken over this situation. Like, you're just kind of done. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Like, you're done with their bullshit, the fighting, the conflict, the, the figuring things out about each other. You're just over it. You're just hella fucking done. Alright, so what is some future energy for Sagittarius after being very fucking done with this? <laughs> Because that's all that it just keeps repeating. It's like, done, 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 done. <laughs> like, leaving, actually. <laughs> yeah, going out into the world. <laughs> Taking the world by storm, I feel this. Um... Yeah, the Hierophant, learning, growing, developing. I see this guy sitting in front of the stairway to heaven, just kind of laughing and being like, dude, I'm all the way up here, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I, I see you taking that high road, kind of like, but not even like in an egoic way, just kind of like, it's time, you know, it's to break the cycles, to transcend them, go out into the world and be your own individual. I'm going to pull some, um... Oracle cards for you. Prove yourself. Um, I feel like now it's time to really prove yourself to yourself. You know? Step into your independence. Not be afraid of that. It's time to prove yourself. Time to talk the walk. Or walk the talk. <laughs> yeah. You don't need them. Prove it. <laughs> You're better without them. Prove it. <laughs> that's that's what I'm seeing. Do it. I know you, Sagittarius. Taste before judging, right? So I feel like this is kind of saying, like, try not to be judgmental as you're separating. Or when other people try to come in, you know. Um, not saying that you should taste everyone before judging. But, like, you know, just, like, try to put yourself in their shoes a little bit. Um... Give and take. Make sure that there's a solid balance of give and take in your relationships. Your friendships, your family ships, all the ships, situation ships, all of that. Stepping away. Yeah, I get this energy of you're definitely stepping away from a situation. 
Um, probably because there is an imbalance of give and take, and because it is so hard to not judge this person because they make it very difficult. I know. But you know what? Prove yourself. Prove that you're better than them. Prove it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you all. I'll see you later.